Hey guys, what's up? This is Rooney, and welcome to a brand new Minecraft series. And kicking off that series, I'm going to be doing a world tour. What I've been working on for the last, I would say, about four to six months. And show you uh, just what I can do before we start an LP together and have some fun. i got a whole bunch of plans for that, but we'll talk about those plans in just a few seconds while I show you the rest of my world. So, let's get to it. Well, since I got that all out of the way, I'm going to... Let's go ahead and get started with this world tour, shall we? Now, what I'm standing on here is a tower of mine. It's uh, on top of a mountain. Make it super high. kind of shows off where I am. Like, this is my spot. I'll go down. I'll show you what's down here. Not much of uh, importance, but it is a, a room. It's my spawn. Go down here and... I'll actually show this later on in the episode, but this goes down to my main base. And out in front here, or kind of front, a side, out on the side, I got uh, one of the entrances to my place. Uh, it used to be a boat, boat elevator. doesn't work anymore. Uh, and down there is actually where the another portal is, and then you pop up here. It's not very polished yet, or ever will be for that matter. And down there, I got another path that continues on to a couple other things over there. I'll show you those later. And that will definitely be shown later. It's a potion room, believe it or not. Not finished. There's no roof, but the majority of it's all done. It's in working condition. I just had to do, add the ingredients, but I'll get to that later. For now, let's, uh, let's go check out uh, my main base down here. Let's go. All right, so we're at the bottom here now. Quite the long fall. I haven't done anything with the entrance. I've been quite preoccupied with other things, as you're about to see. But first of all, this is kind of the first intersection, kind of an entrance hall, so to speak. This used to be quite dark, and my kind of whole idea revolved around void fog. However, halfway through this, they canceled the void fog and got rid of it. So there's a few ideas here that aren't quite working anymore. Like the ceiling, for example, used to be completely dark, and then you would just see random stone things that kind of look like stalag stalactites or stalagmites. I don't know which one it is. I can never remember. You get the point. Come through here. And i got kind of a vault, so to speak. I like, just, just for a change in scenery, I put um, physical storage for all of my expensive stuff so that it goes quite quite a ways back and uh, didn't end up, end up getting any iron or emeralds rather emeralds green stuff never got any emeralds but uh, as you can see I don't really have that much stuff I do use most of what I collect so I don't really have a lot to show for that but you'll see that I have quite a few redstone projects that take up all of my time that was going to be a security room not very much anymore. Th that lever up there, the right one does nothing, that lever actually controls these dispensers which shoots lava and next to them is um, these walls close in and contain the lava so that nobody could get in theoretically. That's just kind of something fun because this actually used to be populated, not anymore, but there used to be people that played alongside of me in this world. Got a enchanting table obviously and got a bunch of books and some space got those from a quite a while back from a villager old tools got neon lighting that's kind of fun just a little little fun lighting trick that I did nothing new don't claim any ownership over that idea and then we'll hop over to the other side and I'll show you guys that over here is the forge, or at least that's what I like to call it. This has got some aesthetic uh, coals here, or I'd like to think of them as coals. Uh, automatic smelting, that's kind of a must-have. Otherwise, your forge doesn't isn't very efficient. Got an anvil, that's about to break. The anvils actually were originally going to go here. I was going to put in a reload mechanism, but I never got around to doing that. And also, as you can see, I put some physical storage here for the coal as well, and that goes quite back, far back as well. Once again, it was more just, just for fun. 
just to goof around, see what I could do. And uh, I'll continue on here to the main room. As you can see, this is kind of a neat little thing I did with the floor. That's why I went all the way down to bedrock layer. I wanted to have kind of a mystical floor, so to speak. And I filled in all the spaces next to the walls where the ground is. But other than that, there should be no stone in between these cracks. Didn't quite finish it up here. This was going to be another intersection that didn't end up happening. Nothing to fill in there. But here is my pride and joy. This is the main room. I spent a lot of time on this. I I did di dig this out by hand. No, no, oh, get out of here. No TNT. Oh, do you have a friend over there too? What is, oh, that's just dirt. No TNT and no, no mining beacon either, either. And once again, I was saying earlier with the void fog before the sunlight came down here and because it reached, uh, I believe it's uh, 15, 16 blocks, that once you entered this room, it would be dark, and all of a sudden you walked in, and the whole room would be revealed at once. That was kind of the idea, but that never ended up happening. Since by the time I was finished this room, the void fog was removed in an update. But I put in a lot of detail into this. The second floor isn't quite finished. It's quite a, there's a few things missing, but... Each of these corners has a color-coded armor, just to help orientate myself. Since it is symmetrical in shape, not so much as in design. But you come up here, all, all four corners are the same. You got a little, nice little pond. I gotta get rid of that torch. Actually, I can get rid of it right now. Goodbye. Kind of a display, little workstation. Just in case, and then you get up here. I gotta, I have to do these poles, but I'm not going to anymore. I was gonna put wither or zombie heads or skeleton heads or whichever I could get, and put them on these little pedestals. But I never got around to that as well. More armor stands, some balconies, looking out. Those chests are the remnants of all the cobblestone that I dug out of this place, which ended up being quite a lot. Um, basically four, four and a half chests worth, which doesn't sound very much when you put it in that, that way, but it is, it, it, w it took a lot of time. But, um, I'll get around to showing you guys the rest of down here, and I'll leave you this, I'll leave you guys for just a second here, and I'll catch right back up to you. So, we're gonna ignore that, because that whole hallway is filled with nothing but ideas, and I didn't do anything over there. Same with over here. This is actually a tunnel that goes to Safan's place. That was more just out of convenience rather than anything else. Never polished that up whatsoever. But down here is a little bit more polished. A couple ideas that never got filled in, but I still did a little bit of work here. This is obviously an iron farm. I clearly haven't harvested that in a while. How many guys we got here? We got, what is that? Entities 44. And you aren't supposed to be up there. That's odd. Anyways, there's a button right here. It goes into here. I was collecting iron like that in order to fill up the all the spaces in the for the uh, iron suits of armor, but I didn't. Anyway, so I had an interesting idea. I kind of thought that it'd be nice to have a way of having pistons slide out here in order to stop the golems golems from falling into the death trap, so to speak, and to shuttle them around my base and drop them in random locations throughout my base, almost like a security. So have a little button where you, all the golems would drop down into the rooms and, you know, destroy whatever zombie or whatever was invading at that time. Now, luckily enough, I was treated upon having putting a staircase all the way up through a ravine here. So that was a lot of fun, making this staircase putting it up through the ravine, and we'll just go up to the top here, because it ties into my iron golem farm, and I'll show that quickly. So standing here at the top of the staircase, you can see I kind of had a little idea for a villager trading post, since it was close to the surface here. Uh, I don't know why I wanted to put it here, other than having a glass floor above the ravine. But anyways, we'll come through this ugly mess here, and come into this little glade I made for my iron golem farm. Nothing simple, or, uh, ooh, not, nothing simple. Nothing complicated about it. Just, you know, a bunch of villagers. 
next to a dump bunch of doors. They spawn inside. There's two levels. There's a level on top of the doors, and there's a level next to the doors as well. I think I put a little... Wi yeah. Here we go. You can kind of see in there. Not much. I just had a piece of glass laying around. I figured I'd stick it in the wall. Alright, guys. So, I'm going to continue on with showing you the my main base down mm -hmm. below, and we'll... We'll come back to uh, we'll come back to some other the, some of the other buildings I've put outside. Bullseye. Okay, well I'll meet you guys downstairs. <laughs> I'm rolling in iron. Actually, that'd be kind of painful. Money, 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 money. Oh yeah. Let the money flow in. All right, so we're back in the the basement of doom here, and got a couple other things to show you. Um, in the corners here, I put these extra little spaces here. I just goofed around. There was a big cave here, so I decided to put kind of a wall here, and got to put some items in there and such like and stuff like that. But other than that, I made kind of a kind of a gate, just for fun, just a little aesthetic thing. I was or decided to do something, add a little bit of character to this place. Got cross beams up there. We'll continue on. I have finished one of these. I'm not sure I like it, but you. Oh, I broke my flipping thing, you jerk. Well, whatever you drop, put it on that thing. Beauty, golden pants. Let's put that. Oh no, I don't want to wear those. Let's put that back. And there. Beautiful. Thank you, Mr. Zombie, for contributing. Uh, Got to put lamps in there. Not going to do that now. Okay, so here in one of the other corners, um, I did not show this. This, nothing, actually, I'm not even going to show this. It's just a cave access, as it says, and there's some lava over there, which I take from every once in a while. Um, this was going to be an armory. I kind of... There's one, two, three, four, five, and six spots for the six kind of groups of armor that I made. I can't remember exactly what they were, but it was going to be like a nether and a blast proof and a uh, full protection one and so on all the way down. Like a water one as well with breathing and water breathing and stuff like that. But apparently these don't work anymore. But what they used to do is underneath of here is a... Yeah, that... So this piston is not retracting anymore, and I'm not quite certain why that is, and I, I'll fix it later. But basically what happens is this gets launched up, and this piston retracts and closes just fast enough that it gets left behind. So being that armor stands are entities, they'll get launched by the slime block below, bounce up, get caught by this piston, and they'll stay there. And you can kind of retract them in and out just for kind of a visual effect to the whole idea. But that didn't work since it's broken now. But that's okay. We we forge on. All right, so we're back up at the surface here. Just gonna go down here and show you something quickly. It was a, kind of a future bedroom design of mine. Haven't really done anything with it, obviously, as you're about to see. But the idea is there. This was gonna be a three by three piston. Um, I was going to have kind of these caged mobs on either side as trophy mobs and name them various names. Uh, I was going to put a glass floor with some spiders underneath of it and then just to make it creepy. And I was going to put the actual bedroom in here where... Oh, must be some dark zones around here. Oh. Alright then. Oh, that's this. Okay. That doesn't really matter, but I'll put it back anyways. I think it was... I don't even know where this went. I don't think that went like that. Let's just pretend that never happened. Okay, anyways, so I think for now that's going to be the end of this episode. Coming to a beautiful sunrise off to the west here. I think that's the west, isn't it? West? Where's the direction? I don't remember where the direction is. Towards positive. East, yes. Off to the east. Oops. Beautiful sunrise. Off to the east. And I think that'll finish off our episode here. And I got another one shortly coming up. And
And we're going to go over that little guy off the distance and this big guy. And I'll go through in a little bit of detail on what this is. But for now, toodles, and I'll see you guys later.